state's represented here today, and, and we're excited to have you in Florida. Even more excited to have you come spend money in Florida, so that's exciting. <laughs> go visit the port, go to Disney World, Universal, do your thing. I'm doing my part now as, uh, as a representative. But um, as Mr. Corno said, I'm, I'm the representative for this district for Florida. Um, I'm the speaker of the Florida House and have the honor uh, to have my children go to this school. So I'm, I'm in a little different place than just visiting from the standpoint of, of seeing what, you, what you're up to and what the, what the future looks like, but I'm actually here uh, to tell you that what you're doing is working. Um, I've, I was just telling somebody a few minutes ago that um, you know, when I came into this process, education was not something that, that I was focused on at all. I'm a, I'm an agribusinessman. My family's in cattle and citrus and real estate and development. I'm looking at economic development in the state of Florida, um, you know, as, as my my passion when I come into the process. But the more I get involved, and the more that I come sit in my own kids' classroom and realize that what's happening in this school is not happening in other schools, I start realizing we've got a problem. And if we want economic development in Florida, we need a good education system. And being able to tell the story about what's happening here and what Mr. Corneau has done. You know, I, I just made mention a few minutes ago that he has no idea how much I talk about him on a daily basis. And it is all positive, sir, I promise you that. And it is the example. It's the example of challenging our kids, raising the bar and continuing to buy into to the future of this country. And we can't do that without educators that are bought in. So thank you for, for being bought into these types of standards and knowing that, that all kids can learn. Um, it's the opportunity that we give them and, and for y'all to be bought into that system is, is first and foremost. Um, but, but again, I, I speak from the experience standpoint. I go around and visit a lot of schools in this community and around this state and there are very few that can hold a candle to what's been set out here at Stevenson and, and Mr. Corneau, I thank you, but I thank each and every one of you uh, for being a part of that and the collaborative is what makes that work coming into a room like this sharing the ideas and be able, being able to lay those out for others to learn from is what will make this work and continue to make this grow in the future and and I thank you for, for allowing me to stop by today and see what what y'all are uh, doing but but even more importantly thank each and every one of you for for being bought in and, and being a part of, of teaching this next generation so thank you